Emily and I are doing a one night, two day backpacking trip to Mount Antero in Colorado. Just wanted to show y'all what I'm bringing. 55 or 65 liter Deuter backpack. First thing I'm gonna pack is our Marmot Limelight three person tent. Just because the extra weight for the three person tent is a lot more comfortable for two people than a two person tent. Next, I'm gonna put in my Marmot sleeping bag. Good down to 15 degrees comfort level. It's summer, we're gonna be camping right below tree line, so I don't think it's gonna be that cold. I know it's not gonna be that cold. This sleeping bag will do just fine. <clears throat> Putting this at the bottom, as it can kinda spread out and it will compact. I'm not putting this in a stuff sack. After that, I've got two pillows, one big pillow I use, and then another small pillow, just because comfort. Got a, I don't know what down jacket this is. I bought it about three years ago off back country. I absolutely love it, it's super warm. I've got gloves. These gloves, Insulate 3M gloves I picked up at Walmart. These will go, these will be going up with me on my day pack up to the summit. Got a balaclava. This may be needed, especially if it's windy. Real wool shirt, extra underwear. This is what I sleep in, extra socks. So this compartment, it can still fit some more, but it's pretty much gonna be full for this backpacking trip. All right, this bottom pack, when I usually go on multi-day backpacking trips, this is where I'll keep all the sleep gear. Not this time though. This time I've got a 24 liter Kodo Paxi pack that I'm gonna be bringing up to the summit of Mount Antero. This is gonna go in there. That's my day pack. And this is all the goodies right here, all the electronics that I'm bringing, all the photo gear. I'll just go through everything. I've got a memory card holder. I've got multiple chargers. I've got a Mavic Mini drone. I think it's number two. The controller, a GoPro battery charger, three batteries, 26,000 mAh battery charger. This is good for about five iPhone charges, maybe more. GoPro Hero 10, completely waterproof. If most of the trip is rain, I will be using this. If not, I will be using my main Nikon camera. I've also got three Enduro GoPro batteries in here, along with two extra 2280 Nikon batteries. I wrapped this up in a nice cleaning cloth so the GoPro camera does not get damaged. There's not gonna be much moving around in this bag. Putting this in the bottom, maybe kind of risky, but I know it's there. I'm not gonna be slamming the backpack down when I take it off. That's gonna be it for that compartment. The bottom compartment of this, I'm gonna keep my headlamp. It uses four AAA batteries. This is the best headlamp I've ever had. You can't accidentally press a button and drain it as it locks out. Matches, probably not gonna use. I'm gonna put these in here. Bug spray. Wilderness wipes, and I've also got a little shovel that I'm gonna use if I need to bury a hole. And I'll definitely pack out the wilderness wipes in a Ziploc bag. Also forgot to put in there, I've got some liner, hand liners in here. Those will go right in there. I think that's it for the inside of the backpack. For the top part of the bag, I've got a Osprey rain cover. This will go over the entire pack when it rains because we're expecting a lot of rain. It will keep the pack dry, I hope depending on how hard it rains. I've never tested it in a severe thunderstorm. This right here, this is gonna go, this is gonna be quick, very quick access. Right here, this is just for my camera and my microphone, which I'll show you in just a second. Rain tarp, we're gonna need this most likely. This has so many uses, especially at camp. That's gonna be quick access. My rain jacket is gonna go on the top. It's made by Marmot, that's gonna be quick access. I have string which can be used to prop up the rain tarp. It's gonna be used for the bear sack, earth sack that we have that we're storing food in. First aid kit, want quick access to this. And hand warmers, falling out. One more thing that's gonna go on top. 
as my water filter. This is a Katadine water filter. I, I love it. I just purchased it. I've been on one backpacking trip with it, or two. Two backpacking trips with it. This thing is just amazing. It's replacing my Grail as my main water filter. I'm gonna zip all that up. All right, so now on the side, I've got one trekking pole. That's all I use is one because I usually have this tripod in the other hand. GoPro, tripod, selfie stick. I've got a Garmin InReach Mini that clips on to the back. That will also go on my day pack when we summit Antero. I've got a Leatherman. This will go on my belt. It's a pretty hefty Leatherman, but it can start fires. It's got pliers, knife. I've got a compass. It's not the best compass. It's not the worst. This is gonna go right here. Gotta open this back up. How to shoot video. Hopefully I read this before I shoot the video. I've already read it before, but it's always great to rehash. I've got a flask full of some peanut butter whiskey, not full, about halfway full of some peanut butter whiskey. I like to drink when I camp. Very lightweight flask, that's going back there. I've got my water bottle. That's gonna go on this other side. And I'll use my filter to fill that up. Backup filter, Emily has her own filter that she's gonna use. Emily will also be carrying the poles for the tent and she will be carrying the earth sack, which can hold quite a bit of food. The whiskey bottle will go in there at night. This is the camera I'm using. It's a Nikon Z6 II with a 14 30 millimeter F4 Z lens. I'm using the Rode Video Mic Shotgun Pro, the newest model. That's what I'm bringing on this trip. Thank you so much for watching. Can't wait to do this hike. Can't wait to share this video with y'all. Until the next one, I'm Dave Spates. Hope to see you there.